Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon Ash and Shadows. Ash and Shadows is a mod that very much changes the units that are currently available in Red Dragon. It's a mod. I don't provide tech support on it, but I don't really need to because installation is so damn easy. You can download it through the link down below in the description. You unzip it, you install it, and you play it. At least, that's what works for me. I'm currently going to be starting up Clam Mount Narotnia. It's a 1984 campaign, or at least that's how it's listed. But, of course, with Ash and Shadows changing units and modernizing a heck of a lot of them, it is not going to be 1984. We're going to be seeing units which are far more modern. So let's launch it and see what sort of damage I can inflict. We are landing in Japan. It's a nice day to go to Japan and after the previous campaign, I think the paratroopers are interested to see if there are any more ZIL 130 cargoes to capture. All right, Tokyo is about to fall. We need to secure the Western flank, uh, secure and neutralize three airports and protect Osaka. That guy does look an awful lot like Putin. Jesus. All right. 16 days to achieve your goals. I'm going to try and make this a speed run. I'm going to see how fast I can get this job done by just going for the uh, airports. Mission objective is not listed. Well, that's helpful. Okay. Inventory. What do we have? What can we bring in? We have the task force Minsk with Krivaks, Nanushkas, Munas, and KA-27 PLPs. Um, there's a naval infantry regiment. BMP-3 is in a lot of them. Cornets, Strelas, T-55 AMVs. A couple of Nanushka, Schmel, Type-23. Okay. Can we still maneuver into Masuda? No, not quite. Now, the maneuvering between these sectors is not always as straightforward as you might like. Because sometimes it seems that you can go from, for example, Masuda to Hiroshima. You can't. You're going to have to go either to Yamaguchi and then to Hiroshima. Or you're going to have to go to Tsuyama and then back. Now, having said that I want to make this a uh, speed run. I'm going to try and ignore as many battle groups as I possibly can. I want to see if I can get Gobo in this episode, or at least this go. It looks like the Japanese are not going to make it easy, though. Type 90 Kiyomaru. Sh or, uh, Kiyomaru. Uh, a lot of infantry to go with that. Recoilless rifle infantry. A maneuver combat vehicle. Which has a pretty impressive gun. 16 AP, 9 rounds a minute rate of fire, 3 HE. Carries 31 rounds, fires at a rate of fire of 9 rounds a minute. Uh, this battle group seems to be sorely lacking anti-air. None of these things have it. So Gobo is right for the taking. If I can bring in air power. No, I believe I can. I just need to call in the Kuznetsov from over here. Hello. New aircraft carrier. Kuznetsov can bring in the air brigade consisting of the DSHV regiment. Uh, holy crap, that's a lot of firepower. This is glorious. This is 10 MI-28s. That's 160 Ataka Vs. One tiny itty bitty problem, they don't have a recon group. Huh. Without a recon group, I'm gonna have to be relying on my Spetsnaz VMF. And with the Spetsnaz VMF, I'm gonna have to get quite close. Which on this map is not that easy. They're gonna be coming in with a lot of infantry and tanks, which the helos can easily kill off. Um, I would just need reconnaissance. I don't think I'm going to be capturing Gobo this turn. 
Let's bring the helos in. K27PL. No thanks. Not good enough. I cannot call these in this turn. But I'm probably going to do it next turn. 319th helo. Okay. What you got there? Nanny on Shiki F and C. I have two units which are completely exhausted. Now I also have my VDV. This is a Spatsnaz Brigade. VDV Heavy. With Kurganets. That's a dangerous anti tank weapon they carry. Cornet, Igla, Spetsnaz VMF, Razvetka, Ansat 2RC Reconnaissance Halo, Plamia, Spetsnaz Gru Heavy, uh, Tiger FAE with a Therma Barrack. So this thing is very, very good at killing infantry from afar. And the Sprut SD. I want to get a high value sector and I want to get it quick. Oh, this would be really, really cheeky. This is asking for trouble. The fact that I'm able to reach this is asking for trouble. VDV Heavy, Coronet, Igla, couple of command units, VMF. I'm not looking at the exact same unit, am I? I am. Yeah, that's why they look familiar. Um, Nagasaki is a death trap early on. Oh, really? How about Hiroshima? I could try and capture that. I don't know what's in there. Which will make it all the more interesting. But as long as I can keep these VV regiments hopping from airport to airport... I should be able to make quick work of them. Totori is also an airport. But I don't quite know what's in there. Oh, but I can find out, I think. Oh, it's in Totori. A bunch of tanks. Type 10 Hitomaru. Very outdated tanks. And a bunch of infantry units. What map is that again? Ah, yes, that one. Yes, I remember. Um, I can easily wipe that out with potentially one Spatsnaz group. Hmm. Should have done this in a different order. If I had called in the Kuznetsov first and moved it here... And then called in the helo on the Kuznetsov. I could have made it to Hiroshima with the helos. Or at least close to it. So I could at least see what's in there. I also have this port. Which I don't really need. Um, anything else I can call in? Something for five points. A supply company. Beautiful. Or a recon company. Now that you mention it. A recon company is kind of the last thing that I was missing to do my invasion of Gobo. That is actually very interesting. I just don't know if I have enough firepower. I mean, I can easily wipe out these because they don't carry an APS. And then I'm going to have to rely on the MI-24 Deltas with the rocket pods. And Spatsnaz to wipe out the infantry. It's tricky. I like tricky. Let's do it. VDV Recon. Yes, yes. I know it's well defended. Recon Company, get over here. And this is an airport, so if these guys are done, I can put them back on an airplane. And ship them out to where I need them to go. Gobo. I start out in Charlie and in... Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not Japanese. I start out in Alpha and in Osaka and they have everything else. Could they avoid the battle if they wanted to? Nope, there's no retreat. They retreat, they die. So it's fight or lose. Uh, 
All right. Got a helo parked back here. Uh, got the fob parked back here as well. Preferably where it's not going to get attacked. Unfortunately, I don't have airstrikes, so the only air power I have is going to have to be projected from the MI-28s. I have only one fob, but I have two MI-26s and four MI-6s, so that you'd think you'd have enough supplies that way. Everything is airlifted, with the exception of a couple of Razvetka in BMD-2. Interesting combination. The BMD-2 could be very helpful. And the MI-24D, in this, or the uh, Spetsnaz and the MI-24D, I can send those to Elena. I said it's a speed run. I didn't say it was going to be pretty. So if I can hunt command vehicles, I will hunt command vehicles. Now let's send these guys up in groups of two. And I'm probably mostly going to have to rely not on the MI-28s, but on the gunships. The Spetsnaz... Well, not so much the Spatsen as themselves, but the M24Ds. And the VDV Heavy. I know I'm parking them close to the woods, not on top of the woods, because I want the Spatsen to get out first. After they're out, then I'm going to actually deploy them. Alright, up you go. You and you are going to move on. That way, please. BMD, move here. My 24D, move up there. Drop off your cargo and get out. BMD, drop off. Resvetka, spot for me. BMD 2, don't fire. Until otherwise directed. Spatsnaz. We're gonna spread out in this town. Sorry, in this uh, forest over here. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's not something I can shoot down. With anything other than the helos. Cannon angle too high. That's accurate fire. Is that both? There was two of them. Yep, there's the second one. He was just dancing up and down. Trying to shake off my aim. Look at the view that this sniper team must have. Where are you at? Wow. Keep in mind, this game is five years old, right? That is nice. What is also nice is that the tanks are here. Yeah, I don't really want to be firing with those. I'm just going to have to move them a little bit outside of the forest. They do have this perfect stealth, so they, sh they should be more than fine. Drop off the sniper team there. See, this is something that I really want to kill with the helos. I still have plenty left. Ceasefire. If you have plans of that sort. Hello, what are you? Oh, it's an 086. Are those f attackers not fire and forget? There goes your recon unit. It's a little tricky getting a good shot on them. I suppose these guys would have really wanted their APSs installed last week. No such thing. Couple of very damaging hit on those KUs. There's another kill. Looks like my sniper's in position. In case some of you might be wondering, hey, why don't you use the quick key to turn off your weapons? I have one of those ergonomic keyboards, which is uh, ideal, but my weapon turn-off key is out of position for me. And I have not yet uh, retasked it or rebounded to a different key. 
I'm not going to be killing Nanos and Shikis with attack of V missiles. That's a bit much. Now, income won't be a problem. Yeah, you can launch Kokons all you like. Oh, they're fighting back. Lo and behold. This is when I really like that one frontal armor on the helos. He said as his helos were getting, getting shot to shit. Another 086. Hmm. That's gonna take a while. Spatsnaz trying to use HE weaponry against an armored vehicle. That's not really gonna work out. We're gonna have to assist. And you're completely out of auto cannon fire. Maybe I need to assist here with a couple of VDV. Because the Spatsnaz themselves don't seem to be cutting it. VDV would have killed them already. That's a lot of infantry out in the open. Oh, and now you move into cover. I think they might get a little concerned about all this firepower that's bearing down on them. That's two recon vehicles. Ooh, close. 25. Spetsnaz, we still need to find that command unit. Oh, you guys are in so much trouble. You guys are really not where you should be. This is my forest. What do you expect to do with tow helicopters? Oh. Ooh, more cargoes to capture! In case you don't get the reference, in the previous campaign, or the next one if you want to take it chronological, Second Korean War, I was capturing cargo trucks the entire time. And I ended up with a ton of cargo trucks. So if I see cargo trucks, I usually make it an effort to try and capture them. It looks, however, like they're not really eager to get captured. Oh! You have an APS! With plenty of charges. Do you fire at helos at all? Yeah, but not accurately. Or at least not at range. Uh, yeah, we can take this out with the rocket pulse. CV. Where did that missile go? Hmm. Get a little closer, can you? What? I lost the BMD too? Rude. These guys are also getting shot up by all those transports. Well, at the very least, they won't be bringing in any new units until that CV comes back. And I don't think the CV is very motivated to be coming back anytime soon. Not with an MI-28 bearing down at it. So that leaves me to find the other two CVs here. Does Vetka should be able to do that? It's time to start capturing these buildings. Get back. You're also out of armament, save for your Yuck B. That's not going to work, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's a very expensive helicopter. 
I refuse to get it shot down by how of 64s. No, we're not doing that. Okay, VDV are here. I hope I have an extra CV somewhere. No, not really. Who needs extra CVs anyway? Not like that ever went wrong for me, did it? These healers are picking a fight. <laughs> Needed to kill the healers before the healers kill the spatsnaz, and they seem to really make an effort to do that. Cancel that. Counter it. Also, send some uh, more gunships over here. Firing missiles at everything that moves. If those helos get too close, then they're done. Look at that. Death and destruction. This is what happens when the Russians visit Japan. Oh, again? Oh, they killed it. Should have moved that thing further away. And this is going to be a fight for the Spatsnaz and the VDV. Just a lot of infantry down there. But the Spatsnaz should make sure that the infantry will not stick around for much longer. Although Recorder's rifles are not to be underestimated. <laughs> nice. Still haven't any car captured any cargo trucks yet, so that is starting to get quite unacceptable. I need to find a way to capture cargo trucks. I'm not meeting my personal mission objectives. Get those recoilless rifles out of that building. Oh, what's this? That's a whole bunch of tanks. I thought, ah, it's going to be more transports. No, said the AI. I still have armor. Would you like to see? Ow. Come on, finish these guys quick. The Spatsnaz are really hurting. Thank you. There's another group up there. There. Hit, not a kill. If only these things were not actually guided, but fire and forget. That would make it quite a bit easier for me. Okay, I don't have enough CVs to capture everything. So if I want to neutralize the AI, I'm going to have to make sure that I just stem the flow of units and wipe out their CVs. Guys, feel free to join in. Just have to verify position. It's four of them, isn't it? This is not good. Now it's losing me one VDV group. Come on. Line of sight is difficult for my units. Get out. Get out. Get out. Don't fight. Get out. Okay, I think that got most of them. 
Nope, there's still one more. Again, it's eluding me at the last second. Spatsnaz can do a heck of a lot, but they cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Kiyomaru. And my 28s can. Oh no. Now they're gonna waste all those missiles of that. Here. First, orient your helicopter, then fire the missile. In stealth, don't send in a resupply helo right next to an enemy armored unit. The enemy armored unit doesn't care for your <laughs> resupply unit. Although he is doing it wrong, he should have captured it. He was not being a good sport. Okay, can we now make a move? No, we cannot. I'm at 24 Ds. Move in. Still need to find a whole bunch of command vehicles. Crap. Can you get close enough? Yes, they can. These are actually accurate. 50%. I think I just got lucky. No Kokon missile is that accurate. Look at that. I completely expended all, uh, all ammo, all weapon types on that helo. Or both of them. Infantry out in the open. Not really. It seems like the AI knows that there is a threat to their CV, but they are not even trying to get it back in. Oh well. Where are you going? It looks like all the infantry gets abandoned by their transports all the time. Which I think is a bit sad. You'd think that those guys would get attached to each other and form a team and everything, but no. Not really. Oh yeah. He's shifting the ECV around. I, mean, I say he, but I mean the AI. I want cargo trucks. Give me your cargo trucks. I'm just seeing infantry and vehicles moving around. Ooh, there's your cargo trucks. Rifles. You're never going to hit anything in that town. You're going to be lucky if you... You better not be blowing up my cargo trucks. No, they're not blowing up my cargo trucks. Good man. That looked like a command vehicle. An APC. Now, be good sport. Point me in the direction of the cargo trucks. Oh. Hello, Rippler's Rifles. Did you just assume the gender of the AI? Yeah, maybe. Could be a she, but I'd hate to think that I'm beating up a girl. Although... No. Let me uh, retract that. If the AI were, in fact, a girl, then it's a girl who happens to spam all sorts of armored units in my direction in numbers which exceed the rules, or at least which are far greater than what they should re uh, reliably have. So, no, fuck it. If it's a girl, I'll just... I'll show no quarter. Let me put it that way. 
Oh, more Ashigaru. You may want to hold off a little. I think my 24D is joining. <laughs> we need the cargo trucks. I got babies to feed. Yes! Where are my cargo trucks? Here are my cargo trucks. But they're... Oh, this is going to be very difficult to kill. The cargo trucks are sitting right next to Nana Sanshikis. So if I want to try and kill those, I'm going to also be blowing up the cargo trucks. Of course, if you've been watching this stream for a little longer, you know that that's entirely unacceptable. I suppose that guy, that uh, recoilless rifle guy, feels a little ignored with Spatsnaz just bypassing his position. Now, I'm pretty confident I didn't actually kill the CV in Elena, so it must be somewhere outside of it here. Let's go and hunt for it. Oh! Do you see what I see? Because I see cargo trucks. Don't forget you use your command helo. Yeah, for what? Just put the IFVs next to the... Uh... Yeah, they will. You're right about that. And these things might, but they'll do it with cocons, which is a little risky. Holy crap. Fortunately, I don't need to be too careful about the MI-24Ds. As long as the infantry survives. The MI-24Ds... Um, I hate to say it, while they're listening, are expendable. But it's true. Find that CV. I need you guys to kill off those tanks before they get to the Spatsnaz and the VDV. I need you to spot them. What are you doing with your missiles? Yeah, now we're firing wastelessly into transports. Ooh, a fob. The grand prize of logistics. I'm not sure... Does anybody know Does uh, what happens when you capture a fob? Do you get to keep it? Because I'm not exactly sure. That's 110. Yeah, you keep it. Oh, and Largazer says no. Interesting. I wonder if you keep it or not. I started out the battle with one. I'm just going to try and keep it or take it over and see what happens. Hello, tank. Bad day to be a tank. Oh! There you are. Why did you not just drive into this area here? Or that? Ah, oh, no! Was that the last one? No, they retreated. Ah! Ah, uh, no, I didn't cap any logistics. In fact, I lost in the MI6. Anyway, 3128 points in kills and losses consisted of 363. So that is about a 12 times markup. Good effort. Good effort. But no cargo trucks. Yeah, mission failed. <laughs> Could have done better. Could have done better. Oh well. At least we have an airport. Go, Bo. Now, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to be capturing another airport. It's going to be a tricky one, but that's how I like it. So thank you for watching the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to be kicking it off soon with the next one.